I'm Stephanie, your narrator for Dynamic English. Do you remember from the last lesson that James is going to London on a business trip? He also plans to meet his friend John, who is a famous writer. Let's get started. Are you going to see John this time? Maybe. I'll call him after I check in at the hotel. Does he still live in Brighton? Yes, he likes living in Brighton. I hope he'll come to see me. Is Brighton far from London? No, it's only about an hour south of London by train. James will call his friend John after he checks in at the hotel. Let's watch the scene again with subtitles and repeat after them. Are you going to see John this time? Maybe. I'll call him after I check in at the hotel. Does he still live in Brighton? Yes, he likes living in Brighton. I hope he'll come to see me. Is Brighton far from London? No, it's only about an hour south of London by train. John lives in Brighton. It's about an hour south of London by train. Let's watch the scene one more time and answer the questions afterwards. Are you going to see John this time? Maybe. I'll call him after I check in at the hotel. Does he still live in Brighton? Yes. He likes living in Brighton. I hope he'll come to see me. Is Brighton far from London? No. It's only about an hour south of London by train. John. John is James's friend. Where does he live? He lives in Brighton. Where is Brighton? Brighton is about an hour south of London by train. John is one of James's friends.
true. John is one of James's friends. London is north of Brighton. True. London is north of Brighton. James is going to phone John. True. James is going to phone John. Would you like to meet John? Let's meet him. One of my best friends, John, lives in Brighton. I hope he'll come to see me in London. I'm looking forward to seeing him. Whenever we get together, we go out to dinner and talk about many interesting things. Hello, I'm John. I'm a writer and a friend of James. I'm looking forward to seeing him. Whenever we get together, we go out to dinner and talk about many interesting things. Now you've met John, a famous writer and a friend of James's. Let's watch the last two scenes a second time with subtitles and repeat after them. One of my best friends, John, lives in Brighton. I hope he'll come to see me in London. I'm looking forward to seeing him. Whenever we get together, we go out to dinner and talk about many interesting things. Hello, I'm John. I'm a writer and a friend of James. I'm looking forward to seeing him. Whenever we get together, we go out to dinner and talk about many interesting things. James and John are good friends. They enjoy each other's company. Let's continue. It's always interesting to talk to John. John has an interesting mind. He's always thinking about new stories and new projects. Last year, he wrote a story that appeared on television. It was a story about a man who lost his memory. James likes to talk to John and thinks that John has an interesting mind. Let's watch the scene a second time with subtitles and repeat after James.
It's always interesting to talk to John. John has an interesting mind. He's always thinking about new stories and new projects. Last year, he wrote a story that appeared on television. It was a story about a man who lost his memory. James thinks that John has an interesting mind. He's always thinking about new stories to write. Now, let's answer some questions after the bell. Who is the famous writer? John is the famous writer. Whenever James and John get together, what do they do? They go out to dinner and talk about many interesting things. What is John always thinking about? He is always thinking about new stories to write. Did you answer all the questions? Good. John is always thinking about new stories to write. How about you? What are you always thinking about? So, are you working on any new projects now, John? Well, do you remember last year I wrote a story that appeared on television? That's fine, thank you. Oh, yes. It was a story about a man who lost his memory, wasn't it? That's right. Hmm. Maria liked that story a lot. She thought it was very interesting. Thank you. Well, now I'm working on the second part of that story. It will appear on television next year. Hmm. I'll look forward to watching it. Cheers. Cheers. Hmm. John is a famous writer. Last year, he wrote a story that appeared on television. It was about a man who lost his memory. Let's watch the scene again with subtitles and repeat after them. Thank you. So, are you working on any new projects now, John? Well, do you remember last year I wrote a story that appeared on television? That's fine, thank you. Oh yes, it was a story about a man who lost his memory, wasn't it?
That's right. Hmm. Maria liked that story a lot. She thought it was very interesting. Thank you. Well, now I'm working on the second part of that story. It will appear on television next year. Hmm. I'll look forward to watching it. Cheers. Cheers. Hmm. Now John's working on the second part of that story. It will appear on television next year. Let's watch the scene one more time and answer the questions afterwards. Thank you. So, are you working on any new projects now, John? Well, do you remember last year I wrote a story that appeared on television? Oh, yes. It was a story about a man who lost his memory, wasn't it? That's right. Hmm. Maria liked that story a lot. She thought it was very interesting. Well, now I'm working on the second part of that story. It will appear on television next year. Hmm. I'll look forward to watching it. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. <sighs> when did John's story appear on television? It appeared on television last year. Is John working on any new projects now? Yes, he's working on the second part of the story about a man who lost his memory. When is his new story going to appear on television? It's going to appear on television next year. Did you answer the questions? Good. John's story sounds interesting. I look forward to watching it. Let's continue. John, you know a lot about wine. Whenever we have dinner together, you choose great wine. Well, we shouldn't drink too much. How about one more bottle? How about two? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. John knows a lot about wine. He always chooses great wine to drink. 
Let's watch the scene again with subtitles and repeat after them. John, you know a lot about wine. Whenever we have dinner together, you choose great wine. Well, we shouldn't drink too much. How about one more bottle? How about two? <laughs> <laughs> Cute. They shouldn't drink too much. Let's watch the scene one more time and do role play. John, you know a lot about wine. Whenever we have dinner together, you choose great wine. Well, we shouldn't drink too much. How about one more bottle? How about two? <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Mmm, mm. smells good. Whenever we have dinner together, John chooses a great bottle of wine. When we finish eating, we both try to pay the bill. Sometimes he pays, and sometimes I pay. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Whenever James and I have dinner together, we both try to pay the bill. Sometimes he pays, and sometimes I do. We have to be careful not to drink too much. When they go out to eat together, both James and John try to pay the bill. Let's watch the scene a second time with subtitles and repeat after John. Thank you. Whenever James and I have dinner together, we both try to pay the bill. Sometimes he pays, and sometimes I do. We have to be careful not to drink too much. When they finish eating, sometimes James pays and sometimes John pays. Now, fill in the blanks after the bell using the words interesting or interested. John is a very interesting man.
He has written many interesting stories. He is also interested in wine. Please say true or false after the bell. John wrote a story that appeared on television last year. True. He wrote a story about a man who lost his memory, which appeared on television last year. When they finish eating, John always pays the bill. False. When they finish eating, they both try to pay the bill. Sometimes James pays, sometimes John pays. Do you want to become a famous writer like John? If you'd like to be a writer, you have to read a lot, starting now. That's the end of level two. It's been fun. Bye.